Hello everyone and welcome back to another How It's Made video here at Dang and Diecast. So today's video is on the precast structure we see in front of us. So to design this structure I used a variety of images from Google and a few construction websites to get an idea of the dimensions of the pieces that you see in front of you. So let's get started. And we'll get started at the bottom. So here is the base structure. It's a simple block that has two holes at the top. And for those two holes, we use these little pieces of rebar to connect into. And they would make a nice, solid, snug fit. And those two pieces of rebar would connect into this. This is the precast standing, standing beam and at the base it has two holes for the two pieces of rebar to connect into. The standing beam also has two holes at the top and those two holes are for another two pieces of rebar. So in theory the structure can be two, three, four, even five stories in scale. The standing beam also has two levels of joints, one there and one there, and this would be the stories. And for each joint, they have small little extrusions for the cross beams to connect into. And here are two cross beams. So here's the first one, it's the long one. And the length depends on the length of the floor slabs. And at the bottom of them, there's two grooves. Which would slot into one of these extrusions of the standing beam. Now the shorter one is in length depending on how many floor slabs there is. And it is nicely <coughs> grooved, sorry, it's grooved on both sides. And that's where the floor slab would sit into. It also has two grooves at the bottom to connect into the standing beam. So the floor slab. Can be made in a variety of lengths and again it's your basic hollow course slab that was designed now. and those floor slabs are lifted into place with this and this is a slab grab now it's a functional piece of equipment designed from, a, again, a variety of images that I got off the internet. It's a functional model, as you can see, and the arms can open and close. Oh, she's an airbrook on, came off there now. And if you didn't notice, but these arms can switch and they can be moved into the closer of the eyes if you have shorter floor slabs. It also has two lifting eyes for the cranes hooks to help carry up the floor slab. We shall see if it will be nice and sit for me. Now. Oh jeez. She nearly slipped. Now. There you go now. Nice functional piece of equipment. So that's my precast structure design along with the slab grab and that about wraps up today's video 
Thank you very much for watching. I hope you liked the video and if you haven't already, please feel to subscribe to the channel for future content. Have a good day.